Hi, I'm Amy Sheasel and welcome to the Top Spec Training Series. This is my horse, Mr Mercury. Today we are going to look at how to ride a test, like the preparation that goes into it and how to hold your nerve. Good boy. So the main thing about a test riding is preparation. So use your corners wisely. So every corner will set up the new thing up. So I always think I need to ride into my corners and then it gives me that much extra time to set the next movement up or whatever I'm doing next. So to me, corners are my best friends. They can help you a huge amount. So what I'll do is I'll pick him up. We'll just go into canvas to start with. And how I think is you've got to look confident. The judge wants you to someone to come in the arena and look at them. They think, oh, this person is enjoying themselves. They know what they're doing. They're confident. So your most important thing is to sit up and think, yes, I am here. Right, let's have fun. Let's ride my test. It's, at the end of the day, it's only a test. It's not a jump. It can't go wrong like it can in jumping or anything like that. So I always think, just sit up, smile. Smile's an important thing. You've got to look like you're having fun, even if you're not. And just enjoy it. So I'll do an entry. I'm going to change the rain to an entry, actually, because I can't get in that corner. I'll come down the other way. So to do an entry, I always think my, th my first thoughts going through to enter the arena, I'm looking at C. I'm making sure I get in my corner, even if my horse doesn't want to. And I look down the centre line. You must turn your head to, halt, to the, your centre line. And then if I'm just riding without a halt, ride forward. The more forward you are, the more straighter you'll be. So that's my first thing. So I can always think, look down your centre line and ride forward, ride at the judge. And then if I come to a halt and say, I need to get him in the corner, not that he wants to. So I look down my centre line and then I look at A and I just focus on A and I collect, collect, halt. That wasn't my best halt in the world, unfortunately. And then I make him stand. He has to stand at, wait, good. And what I do at home is I'll take my hand off and I'll just swing it. So the horse thinks, oh, it's not a, you're not doing anything, he's used to it. See, he doesn't mind. I pick up the rein, again, he's not being very helpful. He needs to stand. He has to wait, good boy. And then I trot on. Again, riding forward at the judge. A slight inside flexion, and then get into your next corner. So again, I'm just gonna do that halt as I wasn't happy with it last time because the halt is the first thing the judge sees. If you make, you must make a good impression the first time. So into my corner, look down my center line, and then, because I'm in canter, I need to collect, collect, collect and give, and hold. That was a bit better. Again, I can take my hand off, he should not move. Put my hand back on, wait. He's been very naughty today. And then I trot on. Good. And again, right at the judge. And then a slight inside flexion to turn. And then make sure you get into your corner. Because as soon as you set up that corner, you've got plenty of time to do anything else. So if I come round and do a medium trot, for example, I want to, in this corner, half halt him back, right forward. He's not been very helpful in the end of the arena. I sit him back, up, and go. And then again, the judge wants you to see a collection. Give, into the corner, and then around. And that will set up anything that you need. And then 
some people get stuck on habits like oh I think I know my leg yields aren't great or I know my simple changes or anything like that isn't great and you fixate on it you have to think it's just one movement the more you get wound up about it the more your horse will get wound up so you think okay it's one movement at the end of the day it's not the whole test so I know certain things in my test aren't as great but it doesn't matter because it's one movement so I focus on I know I can get an eight for that mark so I'll ride for my eight for that and if I can get a six or a seven for the other one I'm happy it's about try being positive think about being positive the judge will pick up on it the horse will pick up on it and then you'll feel it so that's my main tips of the day for right riding a test I hope they've been helpful next we will look at the competition day thank you